Well, Sean, uh, we'll start with a uh, negative for a change. Um, we're out of the World Cup, but uh, that's the only negative, I think. Um, the performance itself was um, a positive. It was, yeah, it was. I, I asked the lads at the start um, to go out and not leave anything, um, you know, and to ward. Had 11 heroes out there tonight, to be fair. We give it our all in front of a, um, a hell of a crowd, a tune crowd that made some noise. Um, and, you know, full admiration, I think, to TNS because I've got a lot of time uh, and I've got a lot of respect there for Scott and Steve and their players were sort of full of admiration for our performance. Officials from TNS have also said and, and wished us the best and they're, 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 they're desperate for us to get in there because they want to be playing in that in them type of atmospheres. And, you know, full respect to them, you know, they got the job done. It was a very professional performance by them. Uh, my lads were colossus from 1 to 11 and the young lads coming on as well, you know, despite it being a minute or two. Um, you know, they've embraced that now, playing in front of, you know, 12, 1,300 people. Um, and it's on to the league now. We've got nine cup finals left. Um, we find ourselves in a good position. A lot of hard work ahead, but uh, we're certainly up for the challenge and we're up for the fight. But, yeah, full credit to CNS. Uh, we wish them all the best in the next round. Um, were you disappointed that um, we conceded goals, you know, at critical stages of the match? Um, fourth minute and then two minutes into the second half? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, to concede at any time really isn't uh, isn't ideal, but certainly against a team like TNS, you know, professional outfit, um, they've got something to hold on to. Um, they, they've been they've been around long enough to know how to hang on to games. You know, the pitch was very very tricky. Um, they knew how to play it. They wanted they wanted to turn us. They wanted to get their wide plays in. You know, they're, and they're very dangerous. They're so dangerous on the counter attack, and it, it sounds a little bit silly saying for an opposition point uh, opposition manager's point of view but it is a joy to watch sometimes uh, how quick they break and how well they use the ball uh, but yeah you know going back to the goals you find yourselves a, a goal down at half time we've been in the game uh, we've caused them a couple of hairy moments i think we've had one cleared off the line and i think we pull, um, called paul harrison into a into a save uh, second half we we um gathered off gathered our thoughts we were raring to go and then like you said two minutes into the second half we concede uh, you know, by uh, by a long ball, which was unfortunate. Uh, we then pulled the goal back. Uh, we tried to force the issue a little bit. We changed the shape, uh, but credit to them. Uh, you know, they did panic when they got into the final third for their third, and you know, it was a great little one-two from Aaron Edwards. So, three-one. You know, but two-one would have would have I think been a, a fair reflection. I think sort of TNS going two-nil up, uh, then us conceding and, 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 and sorry, us scoring and then going for it. You know, it has sort of the doings of a really really good cup tie 3-1 yeah it's a little bit harsh on uh, on the lads considering the effort they put in but it's uh it's one of them uh, we dust ourselves down and we go uh, go away to Ruffin next week when Darren Scott um to make it 2-1 what was the mindset then what were you thinking of just go for it uh, we had nothing to lose Darren I thought was a, a, exceptional he didn't look as though he'd been out for two months um but he was busy uh, he caused problems uh, in between their midfield and and defense picking it up in the uh uh, picking it up in uh, in the hole, um, but yeah, it was uh, it, you know it went, when he scored, I'm thinking yeah, just go for it. I'd rather lose the game, sort of three one four one. Um, but no, uh, we 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 were still in the game. Uh, we changed the shape, uh, and unfortunately we we threw that many bodies forward. They just caught us on uh, on the break and scored a third. But I'm immensely proud of um, of the players tonight, uh, the squad. Immensely proud uh, of the crowd and the club. It's been a, a great occasion. TNS knew they were in, in the game, uh, but again, like I said before, full credit to them uh, and we wish them all the best in the next round. OK, I'd like to go back to Darren just for a minute. Um, as you said, you know, it's nice to have him back. Was that a gamble to put him, you know, did, did you feel it was a gamble to put him in, in straight in tonight after two months off? Um, after Wednesday, we had a training session on Wednesday and uh, he was flying around, uh, looked like a kid at Christmas to be fair, uh, but it was... It was good to see the lads' reaction as well because I think mentally it just gave them a, a massive, massive boost. You know, knowing that we had uh, Carv and Kevloyd cup tied, Jay Gibbs suspended, uh, big players in Rye Wills and Chrissy Wills injured. To see Daz flying about like he did was a massive boost. Um, I think the bigger gamble was maybe to keep him on for the 90 minutes, uh, but we kept on at him. He was, he was all right. He was still full of energy uh, in the last couple of minutes. Um, and it's massive for us now, mentally, uh, and what he gives to us as a team, uh, unbelievable. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic for our running now, uh, and he's going to be pivotal in that. Okay, we'll talk about the running as well now. Um, next week, we've got another away match. Um, what's your thoughts about that? Looking forward to it. Um, I like going to Ruffin. Um, 
Chris has done a great job and you know I'll go on record and wishing them all the best for tomorrow against Landed now. Um, you know, it's the rest of the Curry Alliance teams now, unfortunately, they've got to fly the flag. But it's a great club, um, you know, a lot of local lads, you know, wear the shirt with a lot of pride. And it's going to be a tough game. Um, they've had good results over the Christmas period. I think they're one of the better sides that have come here, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, despite us winning 3-0. Um, I felt we were comfortable for parts, but we weren't comfortable for all the game. Uh, but we're hoping that the Covey Army will come in, in their droves, uh, get behind the lads again. It's going to be a tough game, but... You know, after after performing like we did there against against the Welsh champions, we've got to go into it with confidence. Uh, we play Queens Park away and Kaisers away, which are going to be tough games. You know, teams just seem to pick up 10, 20 percent when Carnarvon uh, are in town, and then we're at home to Gillsfield, which again is another tough game. But listen, we've targeted them four games. We want to come out with maximum points. We know it's going to be very difficult, but um, with the eleven lads that I put out, with Cav and with Kev Lloyd returning. Jay's ban obviously like in a couple of weeks, Chrissy and Rye nearing full fitness. Great. It's it's the headache that I want and uh we're really looking forward to the running now. Okay, and I gather you're going out for a, a quick beer with the boys now. It would be rude not to. Uh to be fair, I, I want to go on record in, in thanking Gaz's uh, mates for coming down. Uh they sponsored the game tonight. They were in the uh in the director's box up there. Um so full credit to them. I think I think they had a good time. I think Trist uh, Tristram looked after them up there. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think there's, uh, there's Gaz, Breezy, Joe, uh, myself, uh, Fish is out, you know, the managers have been allowed out with the players, which is good. Uh, but no, I've, I've said to the lads, you know, they've got a weekend off, there's still a lot of illness, a lot of lurky, um, you know, it is that time of year, unfortunately. So I've told them just to kick back, put their feet up now, uh, rest up uh, and come back strong uh, for Wednesday and, and we'll prepare right. But yeah, a couple of beers. Um, and I've also got on record in thanking Lisa for the uh, lift back later on. She's coming back for me. So, yeah, I've got to mention Lisa there. But no, a few well deserved beers, no doubt. Okay. Well, um, looking forward to catching up with you next week. Uh, Dioch, Sean. It's Dioch. Dioch. Thank you, Paul.